Hey guys, in the last video we went ahead and created our folder structure for the project and we also created our bootstrap class, okay, which includes a constructor and a create controller method. What we want to do now is create our base controller class, all right? So inside the classes folder, we'll create a new file and let's save it as controller.php. Now I tend to um to upper to capitalize the first letter of my class files all right it's not um, it's not needed but it's just a convention that I like to follow all right so what we'll, whoops don't want that what we want to do here is create our controller class but this is going to be an abstract class because we don't need to instantiate it itself it's just going to have our our other controllers extend from it all right so we'll say abstract class controller. Okay, this is going to have two properties and they're going to be protected so that other classes that extend from this one can access them. Okay, we want the request and we want the action. Okay, so let's create our constructor. Okay, construct, and that's going to take in both of those things. We want the action and the request. Okay, and then all we're going to do in here is just assign our properties. So this action is going to equal action, and same thing with uh, request. Okay. Next thing we're going to need is our execute action. Okay, so let's say public function execute action. All right, and no parameters here. We just want to return this and then whatever that action, we're going to put this in curly braces and then say this action. Okay, and then put our parentheses just like that. So whatever the action is, it'll it'll return it. All right, and then we just want to return our view. Okay, so this is going to be a protected method. So protected function return view. Okay, because what we want to be able to do is inside of our controllers that we have in here, like say the users controller, we want to be able to assign a view to it. All right, so if we have a register method, we want to be able to assign the register view, which we'll have down here. All right, now this is going to take in two things. It's going to take in the view model because we want to be able to pass values to our view from our controllers. So view model and then full view. All right, and then this is where we're going to require uh, our view file. All right, so let's create a variable called view and we're going to set it to the views folder slash and then we want the class name all right it's going to be really important that you name your views the same as your class your view folder as the same as your class all right if we have a user class then we want a user's folder inside of the views all right so let's um let's say get class and then pass in this all right and then we're going to concatenate on a slash and then whatever the action is okay the file should be named whatever the action is so this action and then we want dot PHP okay just like that now we want to check to see if it's a full view um, if it is then we're gonna load our main layout file okay because what we want to do is we want to have a main layout that wraps around our view and then in that layout we can we can have our HTML tags our head tag things that you want on every single page we want in that main file alright so if full view then we're going to require that file so require and then in here we want to say views slash and I'm going to call it main.php 
All right, then we want to say else. We want to load the individual view. So require view, okay, which is all this stuff that we did up here. All right, and that's it. That's the base controller class. Okay, so every other controller we create is going to extend this class. Now, what we need to do is go back into our index file. And first of all, we need to include that file, the controller file. So let's do that. And then what we want to do down here is we want to call execute action. So let's first check for the controller. Okay, so if the controller is there, then we want to call controller execute action. All right. So anything else that we need to put in the index file is pretty much just going to be to require it. All right, where all our requirements will go here. So let's uh, reload this. Okay, so we're still getting the same thing because we don't have any controllers. So let's go ahead and let's create uh, let's create our home controller. So I'm going to save this as home.php. And let's say class home. Remember, we want to extend the base controller. And we're going to create a protected function called index. And for the right now, let's just say echo. We'll say echo home slash index. Okay. Now it's not going to work yet because we have to include this home file. All right. So we want to go to our index and we're going to put that down here. Okay. So this time it's going to be controllers slash home dot php. All right. So let's save that. And there we go. So we get home index. Okay, because we're, we're on the root URL. If we go to say slash users, we get that controller class does not exist because it doesn't exist. Okay, if we create a controller called users, then it will exist. All right, so what I want to do now is just create the rest of our controllers. So we're going to have one more, well, we're going to have two more. One is going to be for shares and one's going to be for users. All right, so let's create those. So shares.php and then another one called users.php. Okay, let's open up shares and I'm just going to copy what we have in our home class. We'll change this to shares. Okay, then users. Now users index, uh, we, we won't even be using. All right, we're going to have a login and a register. And I think that's it. And a logout. Okay, we're not going to need the index because we're not going to show a list of the, the website users. There's no reason to do that. All right. Um, so for now, let's go to our index and we'll require those as well. The way that I like to do it is uh, controllers. I make plural. And when we create our models, I make the models singular. All right. So we'll have a share model and a home model and a user model. OK, but controllers, I usually make plural and it's all preference. It's not uh, mandatory that you do it this way. All right. So now we should be able to go to slash users. OK, users index. If we go to slash shares, we get shares index. All right. So the way that we're going to do this is that when we have a, a controller and we want to call a view, we, we're also going to have to have the model. OK, we're going to set it up so that if you want a new resource, like let's say posts for blog posts, you would create the controller. 
which would be post.php. You would create the model, which would be post.php, and then the views, which would have a post folder, and then all the views inside. All right, so we can't go right to the views right now. So what we're going to do is in the next video, we're going to create our base model, just like we created our base controller. And this is where all of our database stuff is going to go. All right, so a lot of the same code that we used in the last section with the PDO database class, we're going to be putting in our base model function. All right, so a lot of it will look familiar to you if you did the last section. All right, so we'll get into that next.